Hi YouTube, Rick's here. In this video, I'm going to go over the grid method. Method of transferring an original image onto the, your drawing medium as an initial sketch is because I'm still getting comments. They find the grid method to be complicated or difficult to implement. So we'll get right to that after this inky binky intro. You're back. Good, I'm glad you didn't take off. I think the grid method is one of the simplest things that uh, an artist, whether a beginner all the way to advance, uh, can implement in order to get that initial sketch proportions exactly spot on. Now as you advance and you get better at it, then you can start removing most of those grid lines and use simple lines such as the cross and the uh, X and you can use a proportional divider you could use an LED tracer board you could even use tracer paper though I don't recommend it because I think what happens is you press too much into the paper you can't erase it as easily as if you applied that graphite on yourself but anyway I don't want to get off topic so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to carefully and meticulously demonstrate how to put the grid on your original, your reference photo, and then apply it onto your drawing paper. And then we will also get into the actual transferring. What I decided to use as the subject of this video is a simple line drawing. Now normally you're not going to be doing something as simple as this. So we're going to use old Ruffian here. I just kind of picked that name right out of the hat. Ruffian, I don't know, it sounds like a good name for a... What, 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 what kind of dog is that? Let's switch over to this camera right here so you can look down and see exactly what I'm doing. So here we got old Ruffian or whatever we want to call this guy here and I think I'm going to need to secure this paper down on the board so that you'll be able to see it without any problemo whatsoever. Alright, right there. Now, this here of course is landscape. Okay, this, this is called portrait when you have the long way vertically, in the longest part of the paper from top to bottom. And this way is called landscape when you have the length, the longest part uh, horizontally from left to right. So this here is a landscape. No biggie, just little point there. So what you want to start with is your ruler. And you don't want to be dropping things on the floor like I just did. That's all. No, no. You break those pencils. Okay. So I can tell right off that the width of this drawing here is no more than eight and a quarter inch. So I could put this into a nice little nine inch grid that will cover the whole uh, drawing from side to side. And you know, you decide how much you want to go. You can do the whole sheet of paper if you like from end to end. But I'm just going to use enough inches that is going to cover this drawing. So I'm going with nine inches. And so you just go horizontally across here. And I'm going to use, in this case here, I'm going to use an H pencil. Now you can use an F pencil. You can use a, a layout pencil. Uh, you can even use a 2H though. Um, you know, it, it just you want a pencil pencil that is light. You don't want to dig in. You're just going to go really light because you're going to have to erase those lines when you're done. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to and make sure, by the way, that you are somewhat above your subject here to start. So I'm going to start right here, 
and make sure it's you're, you got it straight don't be crooked like that now you're going to be really off and if you think you think that you just don't have that eye go to the edge of the paper you know what I'm going to do that just so I don't confuse anybody because I'm sure that I would confuse some people so I'm going to actually go to the very top of the paper here okay so let's just change this up start at the top of your paper and I'm going from from the beginning to nine inches because this here is less than nine inches and I'm gonna mark the beginning here and I'm gonna mark nine inches here so I have my start and I have my finish that's nine inches now I'm gonna come down to the very bottom of the paper and I'm gonna do the same thing but you might be wondering well where would you put this down here see because if you if you put your nine inches here your lines are gonna go diagonally no no what you want to do is go up here and measure from the edge of your paper to the line that you marked your starting line and get the measurement get the exact measurement and I see that it is all oh, three sixteenths it looks like here well actually it's more than three sixteenths it's just that my ruler is worn out here and I only got three bars here so let me give you the exact here uh, 15, 14, okay so it's 13 of these little dinky lines here so I know that it's 13 over so I'm going to come all the way down to here line this ruler up to the edge right down here and I'm going to go in 13 right there so now I have a mark up here and I have a mark down there that is the same distance from this side of the paper that's going to be my start and just so you could see it here I'm gonna go ahead and draw that line in so you take your ruler and you line it up with that mark and you line it up with the mark down here very lightly maybe hold on the back of the pencil so you don't push down on it I mean there to push down you don't want to push down so you want to go really light right and just let it glide over the paper like this and we'll take a look at it and see how does it look well I'm going to double check to make sure that it is straight because at my age you never know when you mess things up okay so I see that it's on that line right there if I go up here and double check sure enough it's perfect so my eyes are playing tricks on me but that is a straight vertical line now I'll do the same on this side of the paper which we know is the how far we're going nine inches so I'm going to put it right up against that line right there in fact I'm going to do it this way so I can get right underneath the ruler and I'm going to line this with nine inches on the ruler okay so the ruler says nine inches right there there's nine there's zero so I'm going to come all the way over here and mark the zero part right in the beginning of that ruler now I have a mark up here and I have a mark down here again just for giggles let's measure from the edge of the paper to the mark and make sure it's the same on the bottom as it is in the top and I see that it's right here I'm going to mark on my ruler just to make sure and it's perfect so now align your upper mark which is your nine inch mark and align your mark down here so I have it here and here I'm gonna put a line really lightly right there so now I have two vertical lines that is encompassing my uh, original portrait here that I want to transfer onto my drawing paper okay now you can decide whether you want half inch squares or one inch squares or two inch squares I'm gonna go with one inch that's what I normally use I never really use half inch except sometimes I'll take a one inch square and then turn it into half inch within just that square just to get details but usually I just leave it at one inch so aligning from the beginning line again to nine inches here just get that nice and aligned 
the centimeters. Make sure you get the right measurement. I want inches. Okay, so I have that aligned here. I can see the nine inch here. And every one inch, I'm going to put a little mark. And you want to be very precise. Every one inch, you're going to put a mark. Here's the five inch. Here's the six inch. Here's the seven inch. Here's the eight inch. And of course, the nine inch is already marked. Then I'm going to do the same all the way down to the bottom here. I'm going to align my ruler to the left side. I think I'll go a little higher so you can see it on the camera. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to align my ruler. And here's the 9 inch here. Make sure that's on there, 9 inch. And here's the 0. And again, I'm going to do the same exact thing I did on above. You have to do exactly the same below as you did above. Otherwise, your lines will go in kitty corner and it'll be really a mess. So, again, 1 inch. 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, and the 9 inches, of course, already marked with that big old line right there. Now, you take the lines, that the little dots that you made up here every 1 inch, and you connect them to their corresponding 1 inch marks down here. Very, very simple. So I'm going to align these two marks, the mark up here to the mark down there, and very lightly draw a vertical line. I'm going to do it for the next one as well. And continue all the way across until all my vertical lines have been drawn in. Be careful to line the dots up, that's important. If you move your ruler when you're drawing, your proportions will be off. So be very careful. Take your time. There's no hurry. And connect the marks on the top with the marks on the bottom. Okay, so I now have vertical lines all the way across from left to right, from top to bottom. That is now one half of our grid. Now we need to get the horizontal lines in here so that we can finish this grid. So, to do that, we need to decide if we're going to divide from top to bottom or just pick some random place. I'm going to go from top to bottom to make this as simple as possible. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start from the very edge of the paper. From the very edge. And along that line that we have here, our starting line, we're going to mark every one inch all the way until we get down here, which is below the chin of this or neck or whatever you want to call it of the dog. So... To make sure I got this aligned right, I'm going to put my pencil tip here and then make the ruler press up against it so I know that I'm all the way to the edge. Great. Now I'm aligned with the edge and the ruler, and I'm going to start marking every one inch. So one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, ocho. Okay, eight. So I'm going to go eight. Seven wasn't enough. It would have got me right to here and knocked off his, his furry chin there. So we're going to go eight inches. And besides, really can't go any further. It's only an eight and a half inch paper, right? Okay, now you do the same exact thing you did on this side, you do on this side. In other words, if I started from here and I went down one inch, two inch, three inch from over here, you do the same over here. Don't start from the bottom and go one inch, two inch, three inch, because you started from the top here and went down. Start from the top here and go down, not the other way around. Yeah, I know, I'm a clown. Okay, so 
Again, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put it right up against the top of my paper here and then push the ruler up until it stops right at my pencil lead so I know that I have it flushed with the edge of the paper and I have the ruler now going along the line that I had already drawn in. So now I'm going to go one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, and of course eight inch and then that leaves a little I don't know, almost a half an inch down here in the bottom. We don't really care. Okay, so now that we have one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, eight, okay, we're going to connect those lines from side to side. All right, so let's get right to it. So I'm going to take my pencil here and I'm going to put it right on that mark so I can press my ruler right up against it and I know that it is right on the mark. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is if I was to put look down on this ruler to make sure that I had it right, my head would be in the way of this camera here and you would not be able to see. So this way, since I cannot put my head over here to look down and I'm looking at this from an angle, the best way is for me to put my pencil there and push the ruler up to it. So I'm going to do the same here. Okay, so now the ruler is up against my pencil on both sides. Whoops, that one moved a little, so I'm going to put my pencil there again and push up against it. Okay, and okay, so now I have this nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and connect the lines horizontally. And I'm going to do this for every one of them. So here goes the two inch. Spot on, spot on. Three inch. Spot on, spot on. Okay, I'm going to do the four inch. I'm going to do the five inch. I'm going to drop my pencil. I'm going to pick up my pencil. Now remember, before the four inch and five inch, drop your pencil. That's standard. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. I think we're what at six? I think we're at six. And good here. Okay. Seven. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And last, not least, eight. Okay. I now have my one inch grid. Now, that was not complicated. That was simple. Remember, you simply have to go off the edge and go one inch, two inch, three inch, all the way over here, and then do the same exact thing down here. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and make sure you cover your original image. You're going to do it from the top to the bottom. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. So start in the beginning and always do it the same way when you're going from left to right one inch two inch three inch and when you go from top to bottom one inch two inch three inch don't go the opposite way don't go from bottom to top and don't go from right to left just get that out of your mind you're gonna go left to right top to bottom every single time so there are no confusions okay we are now done drawing this grid I'm going to take this tape off and give you a close-up of what I've done here. And you can see we have, and there's my marks. You see my marks? One inch, two inch, three inch, all the way across. Of course, in my little grid here, I started here and went nine inches. So this part here isn't really an inch. But that's because I already knew that I just wanted this to be within 9 inches and I didn't care what was going to be off here and here. But whatever you do here, measure it and start the same location here. That's all you have to do. You can start here, you can start anywhere in here, 
but always start the same up here as you do down here. That's all it is. All right, now, here is the drawing paper. And remember, since this is landscape, we're going to do this landscape as well. I'm going to pick my smooth surface here. I'm going to get this paper up here so that the camera can see it. Yada, yada, yada. And we're going to just put that down. Let me get that thing out of the way. A little nosy thing. Okay, now, get back in focus. There we go. What you want to do is you want to center, of course, your drawing, right? So, you know, you're going to go in here like so. You're going to take your image and you're going to say, okay, I want my image right there. So, once you decide where you want your image, here's the simple way to do this. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get me some more tape just so there's no slippage and I'm going to tape my image onto my drawing paper. Now this is the simple way to do stuff. You can always make it more complicated but this is the simple way. Alright, so by doing this, guess what I'm going to do? That's okay, you don't have to guess. I'm going to tell you. Remember those marks that I have on my grid here? Well, you notice my drawing paper actually sticks out from underneath the original image. I could see my drawing paper right here. I can actually access it from here. So, using my pencil, all I'm going to do is write on the drawing paper at each one of these vertical line marks here, I'm just going to put a mark on the drawing paper itself now that this is centered where I want. So it's simple. So I'm going to put a mark here, I'm going to put a mark here, okay, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch. Perfect. Right across here. I'm going to do the same down here. I could see the marks, so I don't need my ruler. I'm just going to use this. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, eight inch, nine inch. Actually, that's zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. That's why I don't confuse you. You don't count the beginning as one. All right, so there we go. I got all those marks in. Now I'm going to take the marks that I did on the sides of this grid and put it on the drawing paper. So there's that mark there, that there, that there, that there, 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 and there. And I'm going to do the same over here and here. Okay. No ruler needed. This is so quick and dirty. Even Mr. Clean can do it. All right. Now that I've got all these marks on the top, I got the marks on the bottom, I got the marks on the left, I got the marks on the right. You can take your image off. Get that out of the way. Okay, we're just going to move that over to the side for now. Now we're going to bring our ruler back in, okay? And what are we going to do? We're going to connect those marks. Connect the one on the top to its corresponding mark on the bottom and do it all the way across and then we'll do the same on the side. So here we go. Very lightly, remember, this is your drawing. So, you make it hard. It's going to be hard to take the lines off or blend them out, so don't make it hard. Make it very light. I'm just letting my pencil glide. The mark on the top to the mark on the bottom. Glide. Mark on the top to the mark on the bottom. Right there. Okay. And again, right there. Yeah, okay. All right, get that little puppy in there, and right here, or as they say in South Carolina, right chair, and right chair, right chair, and right chair. 
All right, here we go, right there. And no, I'm not from South Carolina, in case you're wondering. I was there for a while, but I worked with a guy from South Carolina. He always said, right chair. Okay, there we go. I won't put you all in one bucket. I'm sure that everybody speaks their own way. Okay, now I've done the vertical lines, right? Was that hard? No, that was easy. So now we're going to go left to right to finish this grid up once and for all. So where are my dots? Here's my dots here. Here's my dots here. All right. Make sure that's correct. Let me bring my thing in here. Oh, there it is. I was trying to figure out. Okay, here we go. So, okay, I see exactly what I did. All right, to center it. Okay, good. So, mark that line here. Put my pencil so I can put it up against. And go across. Voila. Again, put my pencil on here. Don't press down on it though. You'll never get that little dot out of there. I know some of you guys go, don't press your pencil into the paper, Ricks. I'm not. I'm actually being very gentle. Though I do want you to be able to see the lines, okay? But I'm being very gentle. All right. The next line. And just laying my pencil there, not pressing in. Okay. Holding it in the back so I don't put too much weight on it because I do know I've got a lot of weight on my fingers. I got weighty fingers. And I'm going to go put another horizontal line in there. And I'm going to do it again. Why? Because. I want to. Here we go. We're coming down to the finish line here, folks. Hope your bets are in. There we go. And one more. Right there and right there. And I can look straight down. I don't need to put my pencil there. Okay. And we done. Okay. Let me get this ruler off my easel here. It has done its job. And hopefully you can see the grid. You see that light grid in there? Yes, sir. So now I have a grid on this drawing paper that correlates exactly to the original image, which is right here. Now, what you want to do, of course, is you want to get your starting place going here. So I notice that I have this part of the ear here. And so what I'm going to do now you're not going to get a full view because I'm going to zoom in a lot here. Let's see, make sure that you'll be able to see the square I'm going to be in. There you go. Okay, good. But I'm going to be starting with this square right here. And I'm looking at it. It's, it's one, two across, one, two down. Some people like to go A, B, C, D, and then one, two, three, four. You can do that. To me, I don't need to because uh, there's just more stuff you're going to have to erase. But if you tend to find yourself uh, ending up in the wrong cell, which each one of these squares we call a cell, then maybe you should just mark it A, B, C, D, E, and 1, 2, 3, and you know, be done with it. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to go 1, 2 across, 1, 2 down, 1, 2 across, 1, 2 down. That's that thing right there. So now, here's what you got to watch. Do you see the distance between where these lines cross here and where that line is right there. If you can't visualize it, now I can visualize it, but if you can't visualize it, I suggest you use a proportional divider and that's what we're going to use because most of you are going to want to do that. Okay? And so it's simple. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure from the corner of the square here to that line and get the exact distance. Then I'm going to bring my proportional divider over to the same square on my drawing paper. Put it down, put a mark, very lightly. That's telling me where it starts. 
Now the top one here I see basically it just gets right underneath the, the point, the upper right, right corner of the square, so I really don't have to mark that. But you may go, okay, how far out is that in there? Well, let's see. Let's go from the line of the square out to here, and I find that it's that wide. And I come over here, and I mark that right there. So that tells me pretty much how far out I'm going to go. And I can see that I'm going to go like this. I'm going to come in up here. I'm going to round off here. And I'm watching all this negative space too because that helps me in making sure I get the correct shape. And I had a mark. You know what I did? I've already made a mistake. So, not a big deal. I'm going to erase this. And I'm not even going to edit this out because I want you guys to see exactly what even an experienced artist is going to go through from time to time. We do boo-boos, but I meant to do it up here. So let me get this out here again, like so. And that's up here. That's right there. So I'm going to go from here. It comes out to about right there. Folds down to here. Okay, and I hope you can see that. But then I am copying this, and you can see that this here, I put a little dot here when I was measuring, and it goes up like this. All right. Now, since I promised that I'd be real slow about this, let's take a look at that before I continue. Do you see this? Put that down. Do you see how I went? Can I get this in here side by side? Yeah, I think I can do it this way. There we go. Do you see how this comes in like this, goes down like this, curves down to here? And we're only dealing with this square right here. Don't, don't care about this and don't care about that. You just want that square. And then look what I did here. I duplicated what I saw here in this square and drew it in this square. So I just want this square to look like this square. That's all I want. Now I want to make this square here look like this square here. And again, use your proportional divider if you need to, to figure out where everything is. So for example, how far down does this bottom of this ear go above that horizontal line? So I'll just kind of go like this. Now I could have eyeballed this and I don't need a proportional divider to do that, but I'm doing this for your sake you know, those of you who don't have uh, the comfort level yet in doing this. So this is for your benefit. I'm marking how far down that ear's got to go, right? And now I know that I've got to connect from here. i got to curve out a little bit and connect to here, which is here. So I'm going to curve out a little bit. And if you don't know how much to curve out, again, just put your little proportional divider on there. You know, just take your time. See, no biggie. You just go like that, and then I'm going to want to connect it just nice and slowly to there. Piece of steak. And now I'm going to go into this square right here. See that square right there? Okay, and now notice here that this line comes up and goes and crosses this top of the square right in this area. So why don't we just use our proportional divider again, measure from the corner of the square out to where that line is going to intersect. Just get that perfect. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go from the corner of the square out to where it intersects, and I'm going to put a little mark right there. So I know I'm going to come up and go right through there. It's very, very simple. So let's see. I'm going to go in here a little bit because it's a little bit and then I'm going to work my way see not straight but kind of a slope just a little slope like and I'm very lightly just going like this 
couple of times with my fingers, just, you know, with my hand here, and just, and then I'm going to commit. You know, you don't have to commit right away. You can just make tiny little marks until you go, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then you could commit, and when you commit is when you really draw it in, and you know that it's complete. Now I have this line that goes across here. Okay, no problem. First off, I need to know is where does this line intersect this line? So I'm going to measure from where this line is here down to here. So I'm going to come in here like so from the top of the square to where that line intersects, then the top of this square, and it needs to intersect right there. So get my fingers, switch hands. I'm a right handed guy. Okay, so it's going to intersect right there. Next, I want to know is where does the other end of that line intersect the side of the square? So again, I'm going to use my proportional divider. I'm going to measure there, then carefully bring it over to the side of the square here. All right, and I'm going to mark it right there. So I know that I'm going to go connect these two dots. And it's not a straight straight, but it has a tiny bow to it. So I'm going to give it a tiny bow. And notice, look, I'm not committed yet. I'm just doing very lightly until I think, yeah, I like that. And I'm going to go back and forth. And then it starts to come into a little darker. And I committed to that. All right. So now I have completed that square, that square, and that square. And now I think I will do this square. So again, I see that it's going to come from the point we come into the square. It's going to move up a little bit here to almost the top. It's going to dip down to about here. So you see it kind of moves down. And then it's going to go up and over and outside of the square. So what I really want to know is where does it make this dip down and back up again, which is right here. So I can come in here from the end of the square, the, you know, the very corner to where that dip happens, so I know how far in the square I need to go before I start ending my dip. And it's about right there. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put a little mark right there, and it tells me that's where I want it to go. And then I can see, well, how far down is it from here to there? How far? It's not much. But you know, I can do this. Look at that. I'm just going to use my proportional divider again, from the top to where that dip thing is, and I'm going to come over to the mark that I had just left over here, and that's how far down it's going to dip. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dippity doo da, dippity day, my oh my what. And again, just lightly draw it in until you feel you're ready to commit, then commit. Yes, I'm committed right there. Okay. Then it's going to start going back up again. This part's easy because you can see that it goes up, crosses the top of the square just above the corner, which is right there. So I'm just going to start moving that thing upwards, cross the top right there again. Okay, and I'm going to now commit. There we go. I'm committed right there. Now I've drawn that. I've drawn that. Okay, now we got this one right here. We have much more lines to deal with here. So, oh, I can't do that yet. There's another line in this same square. I only did the top part, but I got this part. Let's take care of that first. So again, I'm going to go. Now remember, I'm not. I'm going to go from the the line that's going across, and I'm going to go down to where that line crosses, about right there. Then I'm going to come over here, do the same location, and mark. So that's where that other line is going to intersect. So it's going to go from here to there, which is from here to there. But notice it's got to come out a little bit before it slopes down. It's not a straight line. So I want to find out, okay, how far out? Well, let's try this. First thing we can do is we can go and find the the middle of this square, for example, and I think what I'll do is I'll get a, be more precise, I'm going to get my ruler, because I know that's an inch square, and I want to mark along this line where, where the middle of the square is, and it's right 
there. I'm going to put a little mark right there. That's the middle of the square. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my proportional divider once again. I hope that's in the camera. It looks like it is. Okay. I'm going to use my proportional divider, the middle, the halfway point of the square from the side out to the line. And I'm going to go like that. Okay, good. And then what I need to do is I need to find the middle of this square. And remember, with everything we do here, we do there. So without messing up my proportional divider, let me find the middle. That's the middle, or the halfway mark of the square. Okay, let me do this again. Make sure I didn't mess up my proportional divider. And then I'm going to take this over to here. I'm going to put a mark. So now, look what it's telling me. I'm going to go from here to that mark. So very gently, like, keep looking at your reference, making sure you're doing it all correctly. And now I'm going to kind of commit a little bit there. And now I can see that I'm going to go from here and slope to that other mark I have here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to slope. And then I'm going to look at it. Does it look right? Yeah, a little bit more like that. That looks good. And commit. All right, there we go. Now we're golden. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to get this square done right okay so how far over does that line go above that square so I'm gonna go along the horizontal line of the square once again from there to there that's where it kind of stops and intersects another line is about right there and then I'm gonna come over here and find where that is right here so that's where it's going to it's going to end its little trip here is right in this area and so this is really going to go up here like so and then down to here so I'm just going to go light and then I'm going to say that looks good and I'm going to commit alright so I just committed there it is there's the line and let's see, why don't we get this line here drawn in so that we can connect the other one to it. So down here, I want to measure from the corner of the square to that line right here, the bottom of this line. I'm going to go over here to the corresponding square. I'm going to mark that right there. And we already know we're going to go where I brought this one down. So it's kind of like, eh, not straight, straight, but it's you know, a little, a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of go really light. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then right to there. Okay, I'm going to kind of commit there. Looks like that's good. All right. Okay, that's great. And now how far down? From the top of that square is the second line going to go? Well, let's get that measured in there with the proportional divider. And for those who don't know what kind of proportional divider, because I know you're going to ask. This is called an accuracy. A accuracy. A-C-C-U-R-A-S-E-E. -E. Okay? So, it's a proportional divider called accuracy. You can go to www.accuracy.com. Uh, they don't sponsor my video, but uh, that's what I'm using in case you want to know. So I'm going to mark here, which is exactly from here to here. And then this line has to connect to here. So I'm just going to lightly go like this and looking at the reference, making sure I'm doing the same exact thing. And then I'm going to commit. There we go. I just committed. Okay, so let's see. What else do I have in there? Well, I have this line right here. So let's get that line in there. I can eyeball that one because it's just from there to there. So let's get that right there. Then commit. There we go. I have this eyebrow here. So that one here I'm going to have to measure. So let's take the proportional divider. 
from the top of the square to where the line crosses the vertical line here on the side of the square and it looks like it's that far down and then I'm going to come over here on the corresponding square and it's going to be right there all right then I need to know how far into the square does that line actually go so I'm going to go from the end of that eyebrow to the side of the square just to see how far end it's going to go and it's going to go in that far I'm just going to put a little mark to indicate how far in but now I have to measure from here to here to see how high up that's got to be a little smaller just got to fudge it until you get it right there we go it's going to be that high up which is going to be well it looks like I was already there so I'm just and it's kind of a loop up just real gently real gently like real gently like this see like this yeah, I like that. So I'm going to commit. There we go. And then, see, do we have everything inside there? We do. And just so I can finish that eyebrow, I'm going to find out where it goes over here. So, again, I'm going to go and measure from the top of the square down to the other side of the eyebrow. I'm going to bring it over here and mark it. Okay, and I notice that it goes up, makes this loop before it comes down. So I need to find out where does that top of that peak is. So I'm going to go like this. And that peak is about right there. And we'll put a little mark, just a little mark. Then how far in? Well, from the side of that square out to here, I'm going to measure again. And then I'm going to do that right where that other mark is. And it looks like I had it in the right spot. I tend to do that a lot. So I'm just going to kind of go up to it like so. Again, just nice and light until I commit. There we go. And now I need to make it go down to here. So how far am I going to go here before I start sloping up? Well, again, you just go use your little divider. You go like this. You go like this, right here's my breaking point, so I can come up like so, real light. And then I'm going to go up and meet that hump right there. And then I'm going to commit, because I like how it looks. Okay, and there. Now I've got my exact eyebrow here. Everything so far I've done is in proportion. Now the next thing is, is I need this area right here done. So you get that in there. Let me get that right there. I have this square that I want to focus on. So we already know that we have this line here. We already know that we have this to here, here. It's going to go into the square a little bit and intersect this line. Now this line goes from the corner of the square out to here. Well that's simple enough. Let's see, it goes up to about here. So it starts here and this goes in about that much. Now I don't really need a proportional divider for that. I'm just going to go in a little bit like that. And it looks like it goes like that. Okay. And really light. I'm just going to go in like so and then commit to that. And then this part here goes from this corner and I'm going to lightly put that in and then I'm going to I'm going to commit there we go and that's it that, you get to the point you don't have to keep using the proportional though it is good to use most times you know what this square here is really simple it only has this one line I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that so the first thing I want to do is you notice how that line comes straight down in a well an angle but it comes out to an angle before it makes this loop so how far down does this go before it makes the loop? We're going to measure that. So we take it from here to here. And we see that it goes down that far. Then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to mark how far down it's going to go. And how far in is it? Well, let's check that. So I'm going to measure from there to where it breaks over. So it's right there. Make sure I get the right distance in there. You want this as perfect as possible. 
is one thing goes off, everything goes off. It's about that far. So from that dot that I put there, I'm going to go in that much. And so basically my line is just going to come down from here to there. So I'm going to go in like this real light. Look at it. Do it again. Look at it. Commit. It looks good. All right. Now it's going to do this slopey thing. How far is it going to go? Well, this is where it intersects. Use your proportional divider. Go in here. Now remember, I'm using my proportional divider a lot in this video. I don't use it that extensively because I can eyeball, I can look at this, whoops, I can look at this and I can see from here to here is right there. See, it's right there. See, I'm going to put a little dot right there, right? And now, I'm going to go over here with my proportional and see if I'm right. Bingo! Right on the nose. See, I don't need to measure everything because I can see distances. And this is from doing it so many times that you train your eye. And you're going to want to get to the point where you can just... You're going to use the grid or some form of, of a grid or a measuring method. But you don't have to measure everything. You're going to get to the point where you can free eye everything. See, I can look at this and I'm going to go, okay, the distance between here and here is about right there. And it's going to come out like so. Okay, and it looks like from here to there is about right there. I'm going to come over to here. Okay, and then from here to here is about right there. And then I can connect that little puppy there like so. Then I could come in here and like, okay, I'm going to commit this puppy. I say puppy not because it's a dog. Now I'm going to come over here and measure everything. So I'm going to measure this and I'm going to measure this spot on. Okay, you see the distance where this is from here to this breaking point? I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this on here like so, put this on here like so. Okay, it's about that high up. I'm going to come over here. Bingo! There's my breaking spot right there. Okay, how far out from here to here to that bubble? Is that far right there? From here to here? Bingo! Spot on. See, you get to the point where your eye is trained. You can do that. It's not a big deal. Now it looks like I'm going to have to move this up a little bit for you guys to make sure you can see everything. I apologize if some of that was off, but everything was measured exactly to that and that was eyeballed. I didn't have to use the proportional divider. I'm going to get this little dot off there. I don't need it anymore without erasing too much of my grid. Okay, so I can visualize this and this is what you want to get to, to doing. See how far down this is to here? I can eyeball that and say, well, that's down uh, that far, okay? And then this is down about, oh, that far. And this is over here about, oh, that far right there, okay? And see how close I got, okay? Here to here. Here to here, okay? Right there, I'm a smidge right there just a smidge you know what a smidge is a smidge is uh, one eighth of a smidge all right and then you come over here and let's say the depth of that little puppy to the bottom of the bowl little bowl thingy here and I'm going to measure that come over here look at that nailed it nailed it okay how about this one? Here. It's about right there. Looks about right. Nailed it. Right on the money. See? Didn't need to actually use the proportional divider because my eyes are already trained as yours will be when you start to do more and more gridding okay and sketching practice sketching so I wanted to show you using the proportional divider because 
that's how you're going to get things precise but eventually you're going to just want to look at each square come in here you know and just eyeball it eyeball it and get it get it in there now this is not even actually a line this is a big old thick mouth thing so I'm gonna to have to kinda of do something different here uh, I'm gonna come in here like so and then this comes out like so and then comes in like so I'm just gonna color that in a little bit like that eh. okay here we have this line in here again you can measure right you can measure how far is that in how far is that in put a little mark how high off the bottom square is that that's right there yeah yeah okay I'll measure it see there it is okay it's right there and it comes just off to the left of that top there just off to the left of the top there and then you want to get that line up get it up there and angled and across and commit okay commit and I'm gonna go across that little parking lot right there right there boom and it comes over to this square from here to here you go like this choo, 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 right and it's about that far in so that far in right there easy peasy parcheesy and then you want to kind of get that line over there and then it's going to cross over like that and you can commit all right that's easy okay now you've seen me use the divider you've seen me not use the divider you know how to measure from left to right and all that other stuff now the rest of this I'm not going to use the divider unless I absolutely positively am not sure where something's gonna go and I'm going to finish this now so you can see the whole thing and yes I'll probably keep yapping to keep you entertained or whatever I'm not sure if my talking is entertaining but um, I don't want you to get too bored to death so I will just explain what I'm doing here and so forth okay so I'm eyeballing eyeballing the distance between here and here okay here's the halfway point it's just below the halfway point here's the halfway point just below the halfway point I could visualize that and I'm going to go ahead and make that connection okay then I can see that it's going to come into this square over to about that much over to about though let's see where where was it on here again right there okay so it's about right there so I'm gonna make that go in here like so has kind of a bow in I'm gonna bow it in okay and then I can see that this square is this square I gotta go down to here so I gotta go down to here this square is this square so I'm going to want to come down to here and I see that it comes off here like so then it rounds out to here wish that clock would finish doing whatever it's got to do because it's really it's really getting annoying listening to that thing and then I'm going to commit beauty I can see that it comes out to about this far here well you can't see that I'm gonna to have to pull that up a little bit for you right there okay so this is here so I see that it's gonna come over to about right there let's see it's gonna cross here which is right there so it comes up to there goes up to here all right so I hope it's set the correct time because it it finally stopped let me see no now it's saying it's noon oh brother okay it's definitely not noon or is it no it's not okay so I'm gonna leave the click crazy clock alone now down here connect that line to here and it comes up to here I can see that it's from here to here okay 
and down to here this far in and then it comes around here then it goes up this high way up to here and here and I'm following this thing here looking at how far down from the top then it curves down and it meets this little puppy right there okay now we're in this box and I'm going to come down to here and then it goes out about that far so I'm going to come down and meet that and then commit to that then this one here I can see is this high up which you estimate is about that high up right there because I can eyeball the distance, eyeball the distance and we already have this and I know that it comes out just a little bit before it curves down so it's going to come out just a little bit before it curves down and then it's going to meet this one and that's simple see and then this square we can see that it almost goes right up to this corner here, right there, okay, and it comes down in an angle to this bottom bucket here, which I estimate that far is about that far right there. I'm going to lightly put that in until I decide I like it. Then it goes up like that okay and I committed to that now I have now I have this part right here is that square right there I could see that this line crosses the top of the square from here to here I can see the distance is right there okay that's where that is, is right there. And I'm going from here to there, not in a straight line, but in a mild slant. So really lightly, I'm going to come in like so, then slant up like so, and then go and commit right there. Okay, see, so I like that. So I'm going to go with that. Then over here is this square, is this square. So I can see that it crosses right at mid square right there so mid square is right here put a little dot there I can see that it curves in from here to here I can see the distance is about right right there so I can come in to about right where that is then it kinda of comes up to here and then I see from here to here that distance that's where it's gonna to start to curl curl in like so and then it's going to go to between there and there I see that distance is about right there okay and then it's kind of going straight up to this spot right there you see that the distance between here and here is the distance between here and here which I'm going to estimate to be about right there. And again, use your proportional divider and measure everything if you're not comfortable doing it like this. It's just that I've already demonstrated how to do it with a proportional divider. And now, so this video isn't like five hours long, I'm just going to completely show you the complete gridding. And in real time, I'm not going to do any time lapse. I know a lot of you guys appreciate that. And the rest of you, of course, could always speed up the video. You can always fast forward if it if you got to get past points so this here allows something good for everybody okay and let's see that square also contains the ear which starts from over here that's there to there it's from there to there and then from here here to the bottom of the ear, it looks like it's right about there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to loop it up. And then I like that. OK. 
Okay, and I'll just go ahead and take care of this one too. That's from there to there. I can see it goes to about right there. And this loops up, then like this, and intersects like that. Okay, pretty good. I see that this line from here to here has got to connect from just almost mid square, which is here to about right there on this line. All right, so that takes care of that square as well. Then this ear, oh, now I'm gonna have to bring this down now. Let's see, right there, okay. This is this. How far in is that tip of the ear from here to here? Well, I'm going to go from here to here because it's smaller and easier for me to eyeball it. And it comes up to about right there. And it curves in a little bit. It's got that little curve in, that curve in right here. And then it's going to straighten out this way. And it's going to connect to this here. And that goes up, slants a little bit here, and is going to make the connection there. And then this part here is here, goes up a little bit, down a little bit, and connects. So from here, goes up a little bit, very lightly, goes down a little bit, very lightly, and connects. And then I'm going to commit. Yeah. All right. Next we have this other square here and it looks like the line comes in from here okay comes in from here to about here I draw that in nice and light then it bounces up like so see draw what you see in the square exactly what you you know in, in a square on your drawing paper. That's all grading is. And get everything right. And use your proportional divider if you're not, if you don't trust your, your abilities, then that's not a problem. Okay, it's all a learning experience. Okay, so that comes up like so. Now over here, we have this one goes in here. So I need to go from here to here, which is about right there. Here to here is about right there. And then it's going to go all the way down to here. So that kind of goes up to here. I'm going to make that real nice and light. And then it goes down to there. Okay, it goes up to there and then goes down. And then you can commit or just use that light line. That's enough, sure. Okay, so I go up and then I'm going to go down. And then here I can see that this middle point is heck you can even line up your thing and just go straight up there it is so many ways you can do this and here's where it's going to go like from there so here it's going to slope down then it wants to slope up about right there to there okay then over here, we're going to keep going up a little bit. It goes up to about right there, right here. So it goes up a little bit. And then it's going to start sloping down to down here. See, from going there and going to go up, see? And then this here, oh boy. Where did I miss? I missed something right here. I moved this. I moved my paper. I went to the wrong spot. So, again, I told you I'm not cutting anything out. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix these problems. Let me get this all out. I made a mistake. I, I missed a square. And by missing one square, I missed everything. So, here goes to here. Yeah, and my whole thing aligned wrong. How do you like that? That's why you don't you don't even want to draw it in 
uh, too hard because then you'll never get it off. Now here it goes up, up here, like so. Then comes down to this center point here. It goes like that. And then goes back up again to there. Okay, and then this one is going to come down like that. Okay. Now this is going to go all the way up to here, down to here. There's the hump thing right there. Then this is going to be where it swoops down into that square, then back up again, and then across to there, then back up to here. So let me get that lightly put in. And that's going to go up a little bit, like here. Okay. Then it's going to work its way down and connect with this. Yay! Woo! Wow, that was close. That didn't take any time to fix. And here, I can see that this line here goes in this far and goes down this far. That looks good. And it's going to cross about the middle square here. Okay, so it doesn't go straight up, but it angles like this, and then it, it curves, like so. Then it comes into this square here, about this far. And it looks like not quite mid middle of the square, but almost to about right there. And this one goes out to about right there, it looks like. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to put that in lightly, make sure. And then this connects like this. Okay, it's a big marker pen, so this is all shaded in. All right. And let's see, right here we want the other eyebrow to start. Looks like uh, from here. See, from here to here, that's about the halfway of the square here. It's going to go up to about right there. Then it's going to work its way down here, like so. Okay, so that comes off like that, then works its way down here, and then is going to be about right, right there. Okay, perfect. And this top of the eye here looks like it's not the middle of the square, it's slightly off to the right, about right there, and this part here is just a little bit off the, the bottom there so I'm gonna go about right there goes up a little bit to about right there and then it's going to slope down and it's going to intersect about right there. Okay. And it's going to curl to about right there. And it looks like, where does that line touch here? Well, that looks like middle of the square, which is right there's the middle, is where this is going to come up. And I can see this shape. Okay, that's called the negative space. And I want to make sure that I duplicate it right in here. This is my negative space, and I got it right there. It looks good to me. And then this will, of course, curl in a little bit, and then it's going to work its way in. So I'll go like that. Down here is the bottom. You can see where the eyelid here crosses this line. I want to measure from here to here. That's about right there. 
it's about right about right there okay and then that's going to meet that right there okay and this part of the eye okay looks like it's halfway the midway part of the the square which is right there is the midway I'll put a little mark halfway mark and it looks like it goes up and then down again so it looks like the peak is here just a little bit higher so I'm going to go up a little bit and then this will meet it like that okay I could see this little this little curve here of the eyeball okay and that I see is right between here and here there we go now I might as well get that whole thing in there so I see the bottom of that iris is here and I see that it comes out to here so we'll make that connection and then I see from here to here so that's that distance away and then I can see that the negative space here this is negative space I want that shape so I see how far does it go from here to here and I go from here to about right there and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that connection and there it is and I'm going to get this bottom part in here now that's right there right there okay and this thing comes down through here like so and it's it's from here to there here to there the corner of the square to there and that is that is going to be right right there right there and I'm going to go in here like so and bring that up okay and then of course down here doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the square but it goes to the middle which and just a little off the bottom and that's just going to complete that line there for me here we go and let's see what else we got going here well we have we have this now here here's the thing on another lesson on negative space guys because these are harder to measure but you see this half moon this white area right here you want to visualize where it is in this square and draw that moon okay and so you're just going to have to like trust you're going to have to trust your ability to or trust your eyes to gauge the the diff distances and the shape so I can see that it's about that far off of the bottom of the square and then I see that over here it's about this far in from the, le the left side of the square and it comes across like this and then I'm going to meet it right there okay so let's say that's it right there and I'm going to go ahead and just draw this highlight in here the highlight circle you might say okay and we got that and we got let's see we got all that we got all that we got all oh, this part here needs to connect so we're gonna go ahead and connect it very gently like it in here okay there we go okay now we got this part here got this moon this moon shape looks good and then outside of it we have this this other white flattened triangle-ish looking shape here and so I have to gauge exactly where that is and that looks like it goes up like so and then comes down to there there we go piece of steak people piece of steak Okay, and I'm going to actually color that part in a little bit so I know that's that dark area there. Okay, and this, we'll darken that in here. 
and then this is going to curl out. All right, there we go. Okay, coolish moolish. All right, so now we have this line here, and you can see how far off, how far off is it from here to this line here? It's not the middle of the square, it's just under the middle of the square. So, here's the middle, and I know that it's just below the middle, like right there, so I'm going to mark that, and this other line is right off the bottom here. So, I got these two that I'm going to work, and this one's going to go across like so, and then start angling down, so there we go, there's that one. And I'll get it in there a little bit more. And then this one kind of cuts through the bottom of the square before it even gets to the middle, so it's right there. And there we go. Simple pimple. Then it comes down, comes down like this, but you want to see where does it cross this line? Right in the middle. So here's the middle of the square. This is where it's going to break down right through there just barely like this and then it's just going to curl up just like that there you go you see my bulldog starting to show up there and then over here see that that that's going to be about the same height here for that so that's just pretty much doing that okay and this one skates along the bottom of the square so I'm just gonna like skate it on the bottom and then it cuts through the bottom of the square right about here so I'm gonna do that and enters into this other zone here about to there okay so it comes out to there and we're gonna get it like that there you go all right, this one here connects to this one here. You can see the lines I already got on there. I'm going to just make the connections. All right, check that out. Oh, and this eyebrow here, okay, you can see that it comes in here like so. It's right here. So you come in here like so, and then it's going to connect about right there. I'm just looking right there. It's going to be right there. And you're going to go like this, going to go like this, and then it's going to go, pshoom, there we go, boom. Look at that. Okay. And if you want to, you can just barely darken in this area here to give it, tell it where that is. Okay, just like that. Look at that. Okay. And we got all that. We got, oh, we didn't finish this part here, so this is easy enough. These two lines are going to connect. Then from here to here to here then it's going to go down to here look at that okay how about over here hopefully we're in the camera I hope so Okay, so I see that this eye here is about right there, this eyebrow-ish looking thing. It's going to come across to here. Uh, here's the corner of the square. I can see right here's the corner of the square. I'm going to come down. I'm going to go across and that's like this, okay? And then right to there. There's this part here. I'm going to go up over and it seems to cross this bottom square here the distance between it there and there is about right smack there so this is going to go up and peak way over here okay then i can see that it's going to go down to here again now here we go negative space okay negative space that's this shape right here see this to here, up here, and then the square itself. You see that square? Look at that shape. It's like a boot. Okay, it comes down to here, 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 here. And I want to make that the same for here. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shape that boot. Point of the boot about right there. Curves about right there. 
And there's my boot. See? Then it has this little triangle thingy here. I'm going to get that in there like so. And there it is, my little triangle thingy there. Okay. Just look for shapes. That's also a very handy thing to do. How about right here? That's this bottom part of the, the eye. Comes down about that far. Comes in just a little bit into the square before it angles up. Okay. And then it's going to just meet right into that big old mess there of lines. Then it's going to come across here, but not straight across. It's slightly up, and it's going to go in about that far. So just slightly up, about that far. Then it's going to curve up, and it's going to cross. It's going to cross right there. So you got the distance between the corner of the square, measure out to here. Okay. So you got your proportional divider, right? You measure out to there, and I got it to be about right there. Of course, I'm not using my proportional divider now because I don't really need it, but for you guys who are not used to doing this, see, I'm trying to make this so that uh, beginners can do this no problem whatsoever. So I got to make sure that I'm letting you know use your proportional dividers until you feel comfortable. And you get good at eyeballing shapes and distances. It takes practice. You will get there. If Ricks can do it, you can do it. All right. And then I see that this part here is going to meet this part here. So let's, let's make this happen. Okay. There we go. That, that meant there. Now, look at this. Do you see that triangle, that white area, that's negative space? All right, so I'm going to duplicate that right in here. I want that same shape. I want that same exact shape. And there it is. There's my shape right there. My little white triangle. And that's going to help me get my proportions right. Here I'm going to do this from this corner of the eye out to here is where that line should start. So that's about right there. I'm also going to look from, from the line of the square out here to make sure that it matches. And I got it for right, right there. Okay. And I think maybe a little bit closer in. Then go out to here. And you come out to here. Uh, about right there, actually. Look at all your lines where they intersect the squares. That's the important thing. You got to see where is it intersecting the square so you can get the proportions correct. If you don't do it correct, the facial expression of whatever it is you're drawing will not be correct. All right, so that's a thick line there. I'm going to draw that in. Okay, then the iris here starts about right there comes in about that far comes up about that far right there okay comes out to about right there and remember if you have to erase like I've already done a few times just do it it's, it's no shame in that okay Okay, and then I'm going to get that circle thing put in here. Make sure I get it to be about somewhat the same size. All right, and I'm just going to go and color that in just a little bit so you know that that's the, the darkest part there. All right, just like this one. Okay, look at that, man. That's coming out really, really good, huh? Okay, I think I got all those details in. And I can start finishing up this mouth. This is a very thick mouth here. So, it's kind of, kind of coming up here. This is just kind of gooberish drawing stuff here. Let me see. Again, I'm using the white space, looking at white space, negative space. Let me draw that in because that's that thick black marker thing. 
comes down to about right here and here comes down to about right here okay I think you can still see that in the camera good comes up to about right there and then it says it goes over to here what says it says okay and this part goes above here to here to the corner of this square here and it comes down to about halfway the square here it's halfway here then it crosses about right about right there so that's going to go up like so then down to here and then here it's going to come down to about right there and I see it's going to go up to about right here you see how easy it is to freehand this thing once you once you've had enough practice at it it's not a big deal okay this goes down to about right there that curves up like this and then that's going to go up like so it's going to go to the middle of the square about right there okay and that is going to go from here to about right there and then let's get that in there okay it's going to come out to about right here it's going to go in like this and then it's going to come up like that it's going to cross here and it's going to go to about right there and then that's going to be like a thick black line too so I'll just make that go like that apparently this drawing was made with like a marker or something so alright and then that's going to come up to about oh it looks like about right there swing down to the bottom here and then swing back up again uh, let's see it's going to see we got a nose to do here so this nose gotta get this nose in there let's see here is there any way I can get them both in here so you can see what I'm doing well you all know what I'm doing okay so that's that's about right there okay so this comes down something like this like this scrapes the top it's going to take, take the top of the of the uh, square here it's going to come just to barely down to the bottom of this corner here it's going to come out a little bit here it's going to branch out about this far here okay uh, it's going to loop like here and then it's going to loop around all right it's going to have this and this is halfway through the midway square here uh, the line is going to start from here it's going to curve like this then it's going to go looks like it's from here to here okay and then curve around and then this is going to come from here to here and then this is going to loop around like so and see there's a little loop there then it's going to go straight across like this from well, a slight angle but pretty close okay and then this is going to come down to about right there and then this here goes down about this much now again here I, I'm going to go into negative space uh, with you guys again I want you to take a look at this right here you see you see this now this is the side of the square here I'm going to darken this in so you can see it a little bit here's the top of that square here's here's it do you see that shape see that's negative this is all negative space and that's the shape that I want to get right here so I can see that it's this far down I see that it's got to go to about right there so if I do this okay there's that shape 
See that shape right there? I'm not going to darken this and this because that's the grid I'm going to erase. See, that's how you that's how you do a lot of this with your eyeballs is you look at negative space. Okay, and it comes off to here like so. Okay, and then this comes up to about right there, goes to about right here. And it's going to go into about right there. Then it's going to, again, look at this. White space. Here's the line of the square. Okay, the bottom's down here, so I want this white shape here, right? So I'm looking at that shape, and I'm going to duplicate it. And that's that shape right there. Okay. And then this is going to come down like so, and it's going to meet up with this little puppy right there. Yes, everything's a puppy to me. Okay, and this is going to come down to here. Then it's going to cross up into that square right there and join that line right there. And this is all, by the way, uh, going to be that darkened, blackened area. And you can do this on your sketch because you know it's going to be solid black when you draw it, so you don't care, it's going to cover this all up. So this helps you to know where you are in this sketch and where the dark areas are going to be. So I'm just going to darken that in. Okay, and now continuing on, okay, I got this shape that I want to get in here. And that's here, and that goes down to here. That's an easy one right there, boom. Shape's already in. Okay. Then I want to get these two little shapes in. So this one was the middle of the square. Here's the middle of the square. Off to just a little bit above it. Just that far. I went a little too far so I had it back off. And that comes down like this. And then this obviously comes in like so. And then goes down. Easy peasy, part cheesy. And then this part Again, looking at negative space, I'm going, I'm going to draw that shape, that shape right here. All right, and then this is all going to get darkened in. All right, so let's see where we are in the scheme thing. Let me get back out here a little bit. Okay, guys, there you go. Of course, I can put the freckles in. That's not a big deal, you know, pop, 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 right there, and pop, 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 right there. And this one here's got its freckles uh, here, 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 it kind of goes this way to here. And then this one goes like this. There you go. So I've got some freckles in there, no biggie. I think I got it all. Hopefully I didn't leave any lines out. Go through it. Make sure you got everything in there. I think I got everything in there. Okay. Looks good. All right. So there you go. I have just duplicated that on here using the grid method. And that is really all that you have to do. Not complicated one bit. Well, there you have it. It's not complicated to do. I know this was a long video and I do appreciate you sticking through it all the way to the end. The reason I didn't use time lapse is because I wanted to give you the option of skipping around if you didn't want to watch through the whole thing. And those who do, well, there you go. You have everything in real time, including my mistakes. I figure sometimes you can learn a lot even from the mistakes. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if so, I really would appreciate that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, why not subscribe and click the little bell right next to the subscribe so that you will be informed of all my video uploads. And I will see you in the next tutorial video. Thank you.